Good morning class and welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and in today's quick tutorial video I'll show you how you can dramatically speed up your render times in Maya by using your GPU to render your Arnold scenes. So as well as how to enable GPU rendering I'm also going to show you the kind of increase in speed you can expect by switching from rendering with your CPU to your GPU. Here you can see a scene I rendered using my Ryzen 7 3800X processor. This CPU is no slouch, but you can see that it took almost one and a half hours to render out this single frame. Let's take a look at how we enable GPU rendering in Maya then. First of all, you need to open your render settings and go to the system tab. Here you can see that the renderer is currently set to use the CPU. All you need to do is change this option to GPU like so, and you're ready for GPU rendering. If you have any issues with getting the renderer to use the GPU, you can try selecting it manually in the way I'm showing here, but it works fine for me so I can turn this back off. The settings are as close to as they were for the CPU rendering, and you can see how I've got it set up to avoid any visible noise in my final render. So to show you it working, I'll just close the render settings window and get the Arnold renderer going again. You can see that the image resolves much quicker and the whole render is completed in just over 27 and a half minutes, more than three times faster than with the CPU. If you're just wanting to preview your scene as quickly as possible, there is one more little trick that I'll share with you. If you're using an Nvidia GPU, then you can also enable the optics denoiser. You can enable the denoiser by going back into the render settings, selecting the AOVs tab, expanding the denoiser section, and ensuring that the Denoise Beauty AOV option is selected. You can then toggle this on and off by using the drop down in the Arnold Render View window. The Denoiser gives you a fairly clean image much quicker than even GPU rendering does, and I use it when I'm making changes to lighting or materials and want to see how the changes affect my scene as quickly as possible. That's everything I wanted to share with you today. Hopefully you've learned something. If you have, definitely pound that like button into submission and consider subscribing if you're new here. Here at Game Dev Academy, I upload weekly video tutorials covering game development and 3D art. I'd like to end the video by thanking my super generous Academy governors who support the channel on Patreon. Your continued support means everything and helps me to keep the channel viable. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.